everyone doing today? I hope your household is much more healthier than our household this morning. It seems like everyone in our family is catching this awful virus. Grandpa's got it, Isla's got it, Chris has got it, and Jace is feeling so sorry for himself today after his injections yesterday. Isla's just had painkillers, so she's not feeling too <laughs> bad right now, but she's been up all yeah. night with a fever, haven't you? Yeah. She's got those poorly eyes that Chris was telling you about <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> and we don't actually know what it is that's wrong with her. When we ask her how she's feeling, she just says, all right, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. That's all we get, but she's definitely had a fever, so we think it's probably just a virus. Feet don't feel too hot today. So we've kept her off school because obviously we don't want to pass it on to anyone else and she's not feeling great. And then this little man is feeling so sorry for himself today. Aren't you? He's feeling so sorry for himself. So last night, it got to about five hours after his jabs and he just started screaming the actual house down. It sounded like we were trying to kill him or something. He was screaming his head off, obviously in pain. I'm not sure whether it was his leg from the injections or his stomach from this new these new drops that they give them. What's the virus, Jade? Rotavirus. Rotavirus. So I don't know if you guys know, I don't know if you got it for your babies when they were younger, but I know that I didn't get it with any of the three girls. But I did with Jace. So it's some new drops that they get, kind of like the polio drops. They get drops for polio, right? Kind of like the polio drops, but it's for the DMV virus basically. And it got, yeah, that babies get. And they said that quite a lot of babies really struggle with this virus. And since they've introduced these drops, it's drastically decreased, um, which is great. They gave him it yesterday. I think it must be a live virus because you have to be careful of his nappy, which is contagious for two days, she said. So it's got to be live, two to four days, yeah. So I'm not sure if that gave him stomach cramps yesterday. It seemed that every time he passed wind quite aggressively, um, he'd scream. So it was either his legs or his stomach. Either way, he was not a happy boy last night. We bathed him, it calmed him down a tiny bit, and then I did skin on skin, which calmed him down, and he just slept on me. But then I couldn't move. Every time I tried to move, he'd scream. So it was a really unsettled night. He didn't do too bad overnight. He slept pretty much the same as what he usually does. But he's got up this morning and he's very delicate. So you've got to be careful how you're holding him. Otherwise he'll scream. You can't move him too fast. Otherwise he'll scream. And he's got a really high fever. So we've given him Calpol. Haven't we? He's now having cuddles with Granny. And he's quite happy. He's quite happy there. Are you feeling a bit better now? Got a big tear on his eyelid. He's really tired. He's really tired, you guys. But unfortunately, we gotta go out, don't we? You gotta go for a meeting in Leeds. Ah, oh, you are so sweet. You are so sweet. I'd love to leave you here in bed. <laughs> oh, are you feeling better now? Are you feeling better? Prin is sat there like, what's going on? Granny's gonna stay with you and Isla, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Me, Daddy, and Jace won't be too long, will we? very briefly at home we have a meeting in Leeds today about some very exciting opportunities coming up that we couldn't miss so we've got granny at home looking after Isla for us and of course we've brought Jace because we can't leave Jace on his own with granny for a long period of time without him probably needing feeding but luckily he's fast asleep in his car seat right now that car seems to be working and he seems to be feeling much much better hopefully he'll just sleep and feel better when he wakes up Anyway guys, we're just heading over to the meeting now and we'll see you guys when we get there. And typically it starts leathering it down the second we get out of the car. So the best type of meetings are the type of meetings that are four hours long in a coffee shop, which means I've got unlimited excuses to get plenty of chai lattes down. Although I actually didn't, I actually only had one. Our meeting was in a Starbucks and I got this one on our way out as we passed a Nero on the way to the car and I only got another one because my throat was hurting so much. I just needed something warm just to try and soothe it and make it stop hurting. So 
I was actually a very good person, Chaya, today. I could have had plenty, but I didn't. I resisted and I was very good. So the last clip was of us in Leeds and obviously we couldn't film anything at our meeting, but it was very, very exciting. It went very, very well. It was very long and very good. And it's all about some very exciting and amazing things that are coming to the iFam very, very soon. So unfortunately, I can't talk to you guys about that right now, but believe me, I wish I could. But you just need to keep your ears out and peeled very, very soon because you'll get to find out. It's all stuff that's happening very soon and it's all stuff that is very, very cool indeed. You will have to excuse the lack of enthusiasm in my voice right now. I'm really struggling to talk today. I have really bad tonsillitis and I'm just feeling generally pretty rubbish. This virus chesty thing, tonsillitis, that's overtaken my life for the next last four days now, which sucks, just isn't going away. It's just a persistent little monster and it is not going away. But fingers crossed with antibiotics that I have now, some nice good old penicillin. It's gonna be gone in the next few days, hopefully. Tonsillitis is definitely one of those things that unless you've had it before, you kind of can't really understand how debilitating is not really the right word, but something like that it is, it's awful. And um, yeah, for people that have had it out there, you'll know it's not just a case of like how you have a sore throat and you feel a bit rubbish. It literally completely takes over your whole body and it's so awful to have. So high five all of you guys that have been brave and had your tonsils taken out. I am not one of those people that is brave enough to do that. So unfortunately, every so often I suffer like this and it is not the nicest, let me tell you. This little boy has been so happy for the last couple of hours, haven't you? Granny's just leaving after watching Isla and we just got back. Little man slept for the whole for a whole four hours, which is very unlike him during the day. But then he woke up, had a bottom change, had a feed, and he's been like this for at least an hour now, giggling away and obviously just feeling so much better and appreci <laughs> appreciating feeling better too. Because you're so happy, aren't you? Are you happy, boy? <laughs> Are you a happy boy? He's definitely a happy, happy chappy right now. And little Isla, how are you feeling? I'm good. I love this messy, I don't feel too great hair that's going on right now, sweetheart. <laughs> she just had some painkillers about two hours ago. Temperature's gone, but she did get one at about three o'clock, Granny said. But you're feeling good now, right? Good. Esme's just upstairs. She's got a really, really, really important job to do which kind of links onto the meeting we had today. Can't tell you guys what that is right now, but it's very exciting. And you guys will find out what that is very soon. So she's just upstairs working on that. And Isabel has just gone off to her modern dance class that she, that she has on a Tuesday. I'm about to make dinner. Chris is just catching up on emails. I need to go make dinner. But I can't help but sit here and listen to your little coos. Cause you are so cute. Jace, Jace, tell the FM. I love you. I love everybody. I love playing with my mum's fingers. <laughs> I love it when my mum tickles my belly. Actually, I just love it when I'm not feeling like rubbish from injections. <laughs> Are you eating your pterodactyl? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jace, are you eating Terry? <laughs> I'm eating Terry. Are you eating him all up? Your hands are cold. Hello. Little man. Do me that again. Boo. 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 <laughs> Cheeky pie. <laughs> Take that out your mouth. It's to play with, not to eat. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but it's quite nice. Quite like it. <laughs> So I'm definitely one of those parents that when they have a baby, they set out with amazing intentions to, I'm definitely capturing a picture every single day so that I can do one of those super cool montages when he's one year old, going from a newborn to a, a one year old. I'm definitely going to be taking one month shots every single month, right on the date, and I'm not going to miss. And then here I am, already failing at month two. <laughs> Jay's turned two months old on the 27th, and today's the 10th or something, and I'm only just doing his two month shots. I am sorry little man, yeah. I am sorry, but we just got the most adorable pictures. He's now looking at his little Terry, which he loves so much. We just got the cutest two month shots, Jace. How are you already over two, you're almost two and a half months. How do you feel about that little man? How do you feel? What's it like being two months old? Hello. 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 Cute. 
pretty boy. Is Isla showing you your Tesley? Tesley? I wish I could kiss you right now. How does it feel, little man? <laughs> <laughs> he looks so sweet on this blanket. So having some nice floor time with Isla. Don't get too close there, sweetie pops. I won't. Just think I'm pretty sure what you've got is like one of your things that you often get, don't you? Mm -hmm. Every now and again she gets like a 24 hour oh, thing. Look. I know, he's a clever boy. Clever boy. Clever Jace. Clever. <laughs> so happy this evening, it's so cute. Don't eat my hair. Give me snuggles. What is Jesse to do with? Oh, we got to about an hour. We got What's to laugh? Yeah, what's the laugh? We got to about an hour on the floor. We get into our living room. He's like, no. If you'd have done that half an hour ago when I was in the bedroom mood, ooh, give me kids. Give me kids. <laughs> trying to squeal. The cheeky boy. Clever boy. <gasps> I just uploaded his two month pictures to his Instagram and I cannot believe the difference between the first one and the second one. It's crazy. You guys go and follow me and Jace and you'll be able to see. Because it's so cute. You've grown so much. And you caused so much stress and worry when you were a little teeny boy with no way gay. And now you're a big, big meatball like mommy. Oh, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Unfortunately, I like meatballs. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm not really going to eat you. I was just joking. I was just joking. <laughs> Me, yeah. Oh, oh, just like that is done playing. <laughs> so we have just finished up with having our dinner, and I've just come to the bathroom because I'm about to get myself into the shower because I've had dance tonight, and I'm literally so tired. And I've been running around, dancing, warming up, getting using a lot of energy. So I'm about to go to the shower now, and then dry my hair. And maybe like read a book or do some writing after. So halfway through me doing my hair, this little mm. one came in and said, Isabel, please can I listen to some music with you? And I said, of course. Little Ailey has not been doing too good, have you, Isla? Mm -hmm. She's been feeling really because she's got a really sore throat and like a really high fever as well yeah. so I just spent the day off school today yeah with granny and um how I feel tomorrow if I've still got um, a bad fever then I won't be going mm -hmm. to school but if I feel fine I will be going yeah but you're not feeling too good right now which no. is a shame because also dad isn't feeling too good he has um like tonsillitis so he's really ill so whenever he he comes upstairs to great say good night he just stands at the door and he's like good night and we're like yeah yeah keep, keep your distance <laughs> <laughs> anyway i think Ina might do some reading with me now yeah. and have some nice cozy cuddles yeah so i just came into isabel's bedroom because it was very quiet upstairs and i find esme <laughs> This is so typical of our family, guys. These two snuggling, and then my beautiful one. <laughs> That's totally represent representational of our family. That's not even a word. I was gonna say, uh, where's this going? <laughs> but this is exactly what our family's like all the time. I'm the crazy one. Yeah, the beautiful crazy one. You're all unique in your own ways. Yeah. Oh no. I really mean. Oh, sorry. I can't help it. I just love her the most. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. 
<laughs> Are you Look girls good? Yes. We do. Love you and all the same, right of course. My book about my what, what is this? Are you feeling okay, Ella? Yeah. She's oh, yeah. Right. She, I've got a really funny story. This is probably because she has a fever. What? But last night she was coughing. So I went, Anne, are you okay? Because I was stood next to her and she went like this. <laughs> and then, and then, what and then, <laughs> did and you then, just do? And then something happened and, and it made this sound. Wait, no. Oh, little Lila Ingham. And then I went, and then I went, I love you. And it made this noise. And she was burst out laughing. I was half asleep though. So she, um, after she went up, uh, yeah, I did that. Oh, well, not actually did that, but you know. Yeah. 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 Isabel, your top looks like mine. What do you mean? <laughs> what is it? Oh! Confirm that, that Isabel has just washed her hair. It's, it's been on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, How can face you plant. That? It's so fun. Okay, girlies. Right, you two need to go get yourselves ready for bed. Is that my hair back where I from? I from. Do you like Esme's hair? It kind of looks like a love hat from the back. Kind of. Kind of does. Yeah. yeah. It's very nice. Right, you two need to go get yourselves in bed. Isabel, you need to go and get yourself ready for bed. Oh, I was feeling good after a fever. So I think we're going to end the vlog here, guys. These three beauties are about to get themselves ready and get themselves off to bed. And I'm going to watch Love Island. <gasps> I didn't know what that is. <laughs> I was like, oh. But we hope you all enjoyed watching this vlog. Give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> if you did, and we will all see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night, guys.